What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of this mini drone by Radclo that also has a camera right there. In this review, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this drone, including one thing I think you should know before buying. So I actually got this drone mainly because we had uh, on our solar panels, we had them install like uh, chicken wire around them. And I really didn't want to go on, on top of the roof uh, and actually, you know, go see everything. So I basically decided, you know what, I could just get one of these and take a look at everything. And it's actually been great for that. So one cool thing about this, uh, which really helped me, is that I could connect this directly to my uh, iPhone. And in doing so, I could actually see real-time viewing of everything, like I said, with the camera right there. Um, and the view was surprisingly good. I was actually really happy with the view itself, but um, I know that you probably, you know, you guys want to see this thing actually in action, so let me make that happen really quick. Uh, so it comes like this. You can actually fold these um, in, these legs right here. So you could fold everything in if you wish to do that. Uh, it, it compacts down if you'd like. But obviously, after you get it, you want to take the legs out. And after you take the legs out, then you need to install a battery. It does come with two batteries, by the way. Um, and this battery also is kind of unique in that it also has, this is where you can get um, images and videos and everything if you're not viewing in real time. Right there is where you connect it and you can actually uh, connect it to see everything on uh, the actual battery and the card as well. So in terms of plugging this in, we just go like this right here. Well, I'll put it in here real quick. All right, so as you can see, I have uh, put the battery in right here in the back, and then I also press this button, which actually turns it on. Uh, and then right here, you can see that we turn this on, the remote control, there's the on off, there's the flashing buttons there, and this is um, where you put three AAA batteries, and it does come with the batteries as well. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna set this up on a tripod because I don't wanna crash this thing, uh, which I have accidentally done a few times. Uh, let me put this, and I'll actually uh, put it on a tripod and show you this thing in action. Hey guys, before I put the camera on the tripod here, let me just show you this. So what is nice, they have a one button up and down. Um, so basically you press this button when it's on, it'll uh, essentially just launch up by itself. You press it again. Uh, it'll go down so that's really nice this is really cool uh, this is a 360 spin so if you're looking to take this whole thing and turn it around and i'll show you really quick how it works if you want to turn this around really quick you press that button it'll do it um, this right here says how fast essentially everything can go um, it has three speeds low medium and high so it allows you to adjust that uh, and then this right here is for uh, video or uh, phone or, or um, i'm sorry picture whatever you want to do there. And then this is the antenna. And then this is on off the trim. And then this is basically how you control it. So let me actually put my camera on the tripod here and I'll show you how it works. And it's worth noting, I'm doing this inside because uh, I'm showing you this at night. Um, I just didn't think of doing it earlier, but I'm going to show it now. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you an action here really quick. I uh, have to do this inside because we are, uh, it's, it's late at night uh, and I had to do this today, but um, let's go ahead and start. So we're just going to press one button to actually lift it up. And I press one button, it does that. So you just have to bring it to center a little bit, uh, moving it back and forth as you can see. Bring it kind of close to the camera here. Right, not having a problem. It is uh, moving forward a little bit. You can adjust the trim and such to make sure it's not doing that. Um, if you want to move it up and down, so we'll move it down real quick, no problem. Up, it can go all the way up as as high as I want, right out of the frame, right? Um, but it can go up as high as you want. One of the cooler parts about this is that it does this 360 thing. So let me get in a good position here. I wanna make sure I don't crash it. Uh, probably a little lower. There we go. It'll be a 360. And I don't know how well you guys saw that, but um, let's do it one more time here. And I'm making sure that I don't crash this thing. Okay, takes a little bit to get used to, especially when you're like backwards like this. Uh, everything's kind of backwards for me right now. Okay, so let's press the 360 thing one more time. Press it right here. And one last time. There you go. So that is how this thing works. So it actually rides really, really well. And I really enjoy messing with it it's kind of become a, a a toy a favorite of mine even though we really bought it for a practical reason 
And now I'll go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, land this thing. Let me bring it over to here and we'll land it. Just press one button and it lands all by itself, nice and smooth. So yeah, guys, this thing is actually pretty cool. Um, I think it's a fun little toy. It's actually good for practical use if you gotta look on your roof and don't wanna get up there like me. Um, a few things that I did kind of forget to mention. So it has an act or um, avoidance system, if you will. It's a setting that you can put onto this to where it's unlikely to crash. Uh, as you can see, I have accidentally crashed um, a few different times uh, and they also have uh, blade guards. So basically it's just something that comes out a little bit further. It kind of protects the blades and it does have an extra blade in case you accidentally uh, destroy one, which I think, you know, I, I wouldn't really recommend riding this for the first time in your house. Like I just showed you, it's something that, you know, you want to take outside, uh, but it can do some pretty cool stuff. Uh, and I like the little maneuvers that it can do. Uh, just be aware that if it is windy, this is very lightweight. I don't even know. I mean, this is not even probably not even like a half a pound or maybe even not even a quarter of a pound. It's very, very lightweight. So keep that in mind that if it's windy, it can get a little bit difficult. But yeah, overall, um, I like this thing. I think it's a really, really cool device. It has some practical use and it's also just fun. So if you're considering it, especially at the price point, which I think is very reasonable, it is a definite yes from us.